In the Sportsbox app, we can do both 2D and 3D analysis. In the upper right hand corner, you'll notice a pencil. When I select that pencil, this will allow us to draw lines. I'm going to select the line and then you'll see all the different drawing tool options that we have. If you select the color, this will allow you to change the color. I'll choose red. From there, we have the ability just to draw on the 2D part of the screen. If you try to draw on the 3D, it will not work. Once again, you have that option to move it just to 2D if you would like, and then you can draw all those standard lines. Now, as you're drawing those lines, if you wanna clear the canvas, in the upper left-hand corner, there is a trash can. Select that and just click clean up. Now, all those lines are gone. You'll notice in that upper left-hand corner, there's an undo or a redo button. And then you'll also notice a microphone. That microphone is how we'll do our standard voiceovers that we've been doing for years with 2D. You can also move it back to that split screen as well. And we could go ahead and add some of our 3D trackers too. Now, in the upper right hand corner, you'll notice this little bullseye icon or dartboard icon. Uh, that's for our watch list and I'll explain that shortly. But to the right of that, there's these four lines. You're gonna wanna select those four lines. Down at the bottom now, we'll see our numbers or our tiles appear. So you can see I pulled up chest turn, pelvis turn, pelvis sway, chest sway to be able to analyze in Ricky Fowler's swing. Down at the bottom, if I just swipe up, you can see that we have all of our tiles listed here. You can see popular. These are just set tiles that you can select. You can go turn, sway, side bend, lift, flex, and bend. If you'd like to be able to add some of these tiles, just click edit and then select the trackers or the tiles that you would like to have. You just tap on the tile and you can see at the upper part of the screen how they're appearing there. Now you can add as many tiles as you would like and then you can just scroll back and forth. It's really nice. You can make this as simple or as in depth as you would need. Now, to the right of the four lines in the upper right hand corner, there's two squares. When I select those squares, these are gonna be our visuals. Maybe we wanna put a line through the shoulders. We can select shoulders for joint lines or hips. I always like to use the vertical lines, which will show our sway numbers. You can just tap the square and that menu goes away Tap the four lines again to make sure that the tiles appear at the bottom. Now, from there, you can scroll and see how all these numbers are changing throughout the swing. One thing that you will notice is at key positions, these tiles are going to light up. They'll be green, yellow, or red, depending on where this player is in range or out of range from the PGA or LPGA to arrange if it is a female. One of my favorite features here, I can select a tile. So I'm gonna click on pelvis lift because it's red. And now it'll pull up the actual range of the PGA Tour. We'll see here for Ricky Fowler at address, everybody for lift will be zero for address, but at backswing club horizontal, we'll see that he's red. He is out of that range. The PGA Tour range is negative 0.5 to, ne to positive 0.1. So we can see he's quite a bit out of that range. Same thing as he goes to the top of the swing. I can select these positions and you can see how the golfer is moving throughout the swing as well. Underneath that, you can move the dial and be able to see exactly where that range is. It'll also give you a brief definition of the tracker that we're looking at here as well. 